Denver 7 On Demand is brought to you by Ferguson and BAC Appliance Center. The best in bath, kitchen, and lighting for your home. I'm Jessica Porter with the latest from Denver 7. We now know what caused this fire at a Denver apartment complex. This was the second fire in two months at the Covington at Cherry Creek. South Metro Fire says it was caused by a cigarette left in a plastic cup. Covington management says the buildings are safe, but people living there say they are concerned about alarm systems and a lack of fire extinguishers. The lawsuit against the city of Denver by the man who spent 28 years in prison for a crime there's no proof he committed has been tossed out. Clarence Moses L. was convicted of raping his neighbor in 1987. He maintained his innocence and wanted DNA collected at the scene to be tested again. But Denver police accidentally destroyed that evidence. A judge ruled that the city and various Denver officials did not prosecute him maliciously. That sweeping legislation to change how oil and gas is regulated in our state passed the House Finance Committee Monday night. Opponents there concerned about job loss and funding for public schools. Supporters say the bill is about protecting public health. The bill now moves on to the House Appropriations Committee before a vote on the House floor. It has already been approved by the Senate. And from the First Alert Weather Center, here is a look at your beautiful forecast. 70 degrees and sunny tomorrow, 75 Wednesday, 67 Thursday, and then the showers come in by Friday. Saturday, 38 degrees and some light snow and more snow showers on Sunday. Well, this has been your Denver 7 On Demand update. Thank you for joining us and check back here later for another update. And download the Denver 7 app for breaking news and alerts. I'm Jessica Porter.